what's going down commanders hope everyone's doing fine today i'm just going to turn my mic up just slightly hang on bear with me right basically what i want to do in this this video is i want to test the boost i want to test the raid boost that's good for uh killing things and i want to t test the four four tack up boost the three ones basically and i'm going to start off the test without any boosts running so as you can see i've got no no war efforts running and no active boost uh tack up boosts so I'll, I'm basically I'm going to kill off the two units that come at us in this base because I can't get them exactly exactly right for the attack. So I'm going to use me I'm going to use this guy here just to kill them off, and then I'm going to run down this side and see how far each unit gets with the with the certain boosts running. I'm not going to chuck all the boosts on. I'm going to introduce the boosts one at a time or two at a time. Basically, I've killed that off. I'm going to retreat him now, and then I'm going to bring in one of these guys, and I'm going to go down the side and try to bring out one unit at a time. So these are level 10, so they do shoot air now. So I'm going to bring out one of these at a time, one of these at a, all at a time, and see how many we can kill with just no ops on. I'm going to target him. N not ops, sorry, boost, guys. Right, then I'm going to come over here, I'm going to target him. We're nearly at half, I think we're going to be at half when them two hit. And then if I run to about here, that's it, that's where I want to be. That's four units. That's four units there, sorry. I just want this. I think we're going to get five without any ops on. Uh, four and a half. Hang on. Right, so let's get out of here. Unbookmark that. Let me run to my next bookmark because obviously I've got to do a different orium. And I'll go put on the raid boosts and see how far we get with the raid boosts. Right, I'm just going to put a. Uh, just to get that a bit quicker. So now I'm going to put the raid boost on. You, only one raid boost does anything. This one is defensive structure boost. It doesn't do anything for your units. This one gives a 25% damage increase. So I'm going to activate that one. And I'm going to do the, exactly the same thing. I'm going to put in me Richard, kill off them two incoming units. And then go down that left hand side. So Richard's in this tune. So this is with the raid boosts. I'm not worried about the repair on Richard, by the way, guys. It's just purely to see if these these boosts are working. But right, get rid of Richard. Bring one of these in. And I'm going to try to do the same. Bring one of these out at a time. So we've got four and a half units killed on without any boosts. Let's see if this one beats it. It should be 25% stronger. I'm going to go with not much stronger at all. I don't think these raid boosts are doing anything. It's, it shouldn't be damage took and it should be damage dealt. But it obviously 25% kill, faster killing stuff should be... Right. Here we go. No, he half come out. That's, that's three units looking a little bit better four units five units whether i can get this all these other ones out without them locking up that will be six so that's close to uh giving a boost i'd say that's a slight boost a unit and a half more right again i've got to go to my next bookmark do need to get a bit of forum i think let me just check yeah i need to get a bit of forum here 
you'll tear them off. Because I'm going to put, now I'm going to put the two bronze tack ops on. Uh, wrong one, this one. And you be careful here, these are the bronze ones. These should give 5%. I know the numbers are screw if on here because it's kick side, but these are 5% more damage and damage reduction. So this one's uh, offensive. This is damage given. And this is damage received, 5%. I'm just going to get rid of two of them. Just so I'm ready for my next... Uh, Ops boost. Same thing. Get rid of them two units coming at me. And the reason I get rid of them is because they come at different angles, different ways each time. I can't control the way they come at us. Right, so hey, zoom in. Got this guy in. So this should be now a 35% boost, basically. Either killing power, it's a 30% killing power and 5% less damage taken. Get rid of him. And we'll bring one of these in. And there's a lot of question marks whether these boosts work in PvE or not. And this is why I'm doing this test, just purely for the fact is I want to see if it is does make any difference. Feels like it killed a bit quicker there, but You'd never be sure though. I think that might be in slight improvement. Now it's time to pull these out one at a time, hopefully. That's three units. Four. Five. Can we get any more of these out? Or are they stuck? Six. Gonna let him kill that hunter. Seven. It is better. It feels better to me. Well, this is the one I've got to watch out for. This guy's going to kill me one shot. But it is an improvement. Definitely an improvement. I've got eight units there. Plus that, the damage on them too. So that, that, that seems like an improvement to me. As I say, this test, it, it, I cannot be 100% accurate on it. Right, let's unbookmark that one. Go to the last one and I'll put the tack up silver, silver boost on. See if we get any further with that. It's looking good so far. It looks like it does work in PvP. Again, it's, it's viewer's discretion because I can't be 100% accurate with it. But let's put the silver boost on. I should have enough thorium yet. Uh, so this one's a 10% uh, increase the damage done. And this, is, this one's a 10% decrease the damage taken. So it should be a lot stronger. So we're looking at a total of 55%, I believe. And it will be 35, 40% more damage done and 15% less damage taken. Again, I'm going to put in the... Bring forward a little bit just to get rid of these two because you can't, they split up. Sometimes they stay together. That's why I'm not using these in the test. I, I, it's kind of interest piqued my interest a little bit this because it's it's proven to be it's it if anything they are slightly better with the boosts running i'm gonna try to pull them out one at a time this is where it all goes tits up and this one doesn't I 
seems to be killing quicker. Yeah, it's about the same from the helicopters. Right, we'll kill that. That's three units. Four. Five. Let them kill that off. They don't do no damage, these hunters, so I've not really got to worry. It's minuscule. When he's shooting. He wasn't he stopped shooting. The six. The same. It's about seven units. The, the silver one didn't seem to do anything. Oh. Hang on, he's kicking ass. About eight units now. That's going to kill me if I don't get out of the way of it. That did work slightly better. I thought he was going to die on that little... I don't think he got shot off though. They killed him really quick. Before he could fire. I'd say they're working. I'd say they're working, but I would say not at the percent old kicks I saying they're working at. I'd say, that, say there's a slight improvement. Again, it's down to you, your dis discretion, whether you see a difference there or not. You know, as I say, I can't get it exactly right. But I'd say there's a slight improvement with each boost put on. As you can see, I've got them all on, except for the gold boost. I'm not going to test them because a lot of players don't, don't spend money. So I think the only ones I should use is the ones we can get for free. Um, if someone wants to do another test and add the gold boost in, I would say go for it, but I'm not going to put them on, especially as I've got to go out soon anyway. Um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section, guys, because I'm, it's baffled me a little bit. I may be at, way out of fucking place here, and maybe I didn't do things exactly the same from the first to the last base. Anyway, hope this helps, guys, and I'll see you soon. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.